Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect PostgreSQL with Alteryx Designer. So, add here, this is the Alteryx Designer. Now, I am going to show you how to connect PostgreSQL with Alteryx. So, the first step, we need to create a new workflow. So, here, workflow already created. Now, drag input data inside the workflow. And after doing this, we need to go at here, connect a file or database. Now click on the drop down and here go to data source. And here you can see bunch of different data sources are available. So I'm going to connect with at here or Postgre SQL. So here you can see Postgre. So we have option like ODBC and in Oracle you get Cube Connect for different options are there but to Postgre we can only use ODBC. So here click on ODBC after that you can use ODBC admin. So we need to create add here ODBC. So uh, what we need to do Google and here google search box write odbc driver for postgre now you can uh, visit this site and uh, open or uh, this site and here it's opening and here you can uh, see different odbc driver so this that launched 2001 now here on uh, 2020 the recent ODBC driver so this is for 64 bit 80 36 32 bit operating system so I recommend you you should use in 2020 or uh, this ODBC driver so here you need to download the ODBC driver after extracting now click next 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 to install after installing now here add here ODBC data source administrator 64 bit click on add now after installing you can see postgre so two different options different option are there postgre as well and here so i recommend you you should use this one and click on finish and here you need to fill this all detail so here data source uh, whatever you like you can keep so I'm giving post key as per art rex so here about database you can search on post key as per. so my database is post grace and here about the server name that is the local host or you can give your PC name for port 5432 and here give the username postgres and give the correct password after doing this all click on test connection now you can see connection successful ok and here after click save and uh, that I just created postgre sql artrex yx now click on ok so here you can use but uh, post key as per alteryx now again you need to give the username and the password and after clicking this click on ok so add here this is now it's a uh, connected and here or uh, it's now busy and here after go on the post key go on the public here this have only one table named employees so i'm going to select so simply you need to op you need to select first option there a star is there now if i make that bigger here you can get bunch of different options you can use aggregate function and uh, about the aggregate function I will discuss later on my videos and you can use 
add your grouping so i'm not going to select anything in upcoming video i will discuss this all those things now after selecting this all click on ok and here post p sql part that has done now here after i'm going to use output data so i want to employees post p employees table record into csv file so what we need to do here output data is selected now here click on drop down and here you can see there are bunch of files are available you can use like csv dot sz here flat file so let's select csv so where do you want to create i'm going to create on the desktop and here give the file name so giving test and click on save after doing this we need to transfer this postgre sql data into csv file so for this we need to drag the link and after applying this link so if you want then you can save the workflow i'm not going to save the workflow now after doing this click on run so now input data so this So now input data. So this is the record that to transfer into the desktop. If I go on the desktop here, you can see test file is created with, and here this is the record. So employees table record. It's come now on the text file. So what kind of file it's created? Let me check here properties. Here you can see CSV file. So this is the way we can connect to. and transfer data from postgresql into csv file so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you in next video